Yeah, hi. Good morning, everyone. Yeah, good morning. So, shall we start the session? Okay, so shall we begin the session? Alright, today I'm going to start with a new module. That's why I'm asking, should I start or should I wait for others? Okay, wait for others. So, let's start with a new topic, new module that is unit number 37 digital image creation and development that is how we can create that digital image or what are the various criteria what are the various content by which we can create the digital image that is uh, digital image creation and the development now what is the main aim to so this unit aims to develop the skills and the understanding in sourcing creating developing and managing the digital images for specific purposes that is what are the various main aims what are the various method that is used that is used to develop the skills and the understanding in the sourcing creating developing and managing the digital images to for specific purpose then what is the unit aspect that means what are we are going to study in this unit that is we are going to study in this unit what are the various digital image systems and the equipment that is used to produce the images or digital images to a specified brief and they will then he expect of the digital practices such as the file name conventions storage capacity compression and the output and they will also work with the range of the input devices and the software tools that is what are the various input devices what are the various software tool that is used in the software or that is used in the software requirements and the learners will be encouraged to explore approaches to develop or, or that is how to develop the digital imagery that that converts or that incorporate the creativity and the sound technical skill that means what are the various sound technical skill that is carried out within the digital image creations and the delivery will be main focus or main focus on the practical part with the provisions of the demonstrations what are the various demonstrations that is used as well as the experimental approach to generating the imagery that means how we can going to generate the image what are the various content that is used to generate the image what are the various feedback that is used to generate the image and the tutors will provide a set brief or facilitate learners uh, in developing their own set brief that meets the requirement of the unit that is what are the various requirement of the unit that is carried on with the uh, that is carried on with the with, with the various briefs and the learners will prepare the design for the images capture images save appropriately and present the evidence that demonstrate their understanding and there will be opportunity for the learners to focus on the criteria evaluation of their own work that is what are the various evaluation criteria how, how they will going to cover their own criteria and this may also involve the peer group or the tutor presentation and the discussion that is how to make the uh, peer group and how to make the discussion with the peer group presentation and the discussion and it is an anticipated that a major proportion of this unit will be practice based and therefore learners should demonstrate competent use of the digital imaging system in the production of the practical work that is how we are going to do the practical work therefore the documentary evidence for each documentation for each cow outcome will include images their evaluation and the supporting material that demonstrate the knowledge and the understanding that is how to how to generate the understanding and the knowledge now these are the four learning outcomes of this digital image creation and the development the first one is be able to create digital images for specific purposes that means what are the various or be able means we are we are uh, efficiently used or we, we are efficiently be able to create the digital images for the specific purposes then be able to process the digital images so first one is how to or be able to create the digital image for a specific purpose then be able to process the digital images so first one is creating the digital images second one is process the digital images then third one is be able to manipulate the digital images to meet the requirement that is how to how to manipulate the digital images what are the various content that is used for the digital images to meet the requirements then understand the use of the digital image what is the main usage of the digital image why we are using the digital image what is the main uh, we can say the advantage or the drawback that is used for the digital image 
So first one is be able to create the digital image, then be able to process the digital image, then be able to manipulate the digital image, then understand the uses of the digital images. Now, what are the various contents? So first one is be able to create the digital image for a specific purposes. That is how we are going to create the digital image for a specific purposes. That is a be able to create the digital image for specific purpose. Then uh, in this there are multiple sources for the digital image that includes a primary, that includes a secondary, that includes a recording, that includes a uh, sampling as well as uh, there are multiple input devices that is used for the digital image for a specific purpose now what are the various input devices like the cameras scanners external hard disk or hard drives USB devices mobile phones video cams these are the various input devices for the digital images as well as the acquisition acquisition includes uh, continuous tone transparent opaque monochrome color line half tone digital images that includes a photograph that includes a JPG that includes a clip art that includes a reality free stock photography internet creative commons mobile phones and hand devices and next one is the input fundamental that is how we are providing the input fundamental that may includes the screen printout that means the DPI LPI bits per pixel that is a BPP then CMOS system what are the various CMOS system that is the that is used with a CMOS battery uh, then file size file format cross platform example the PST example the TIFF example the JPG example the GIF and example the TI or uh, PDF PDF now tell me wow great question now tell me the full form of PDF anyone <laughs> Yeah, this is a very silly question. Yes, whatever document five. Now, tell me the full form of GIF. Very correct. Graphical interchange format. Then what is the full form JPG? Full form JPG. That is Joint Photographic Expert Group. All right. Then TIFF. T I W F. Yeah, Terrestrial Information Formation Change. Then PST portable system development very good then second one is be able to process the digital images how we can how we are going to process the digital images uh, first one is creating the digital images next one is processing the digital images that is how we are going to uh, create or how we are going to process the digital images creation is done next part is processing first yeah first one is the devices that means the portable online archive screen proofing printing that is the devices then file format mm, file format includes the file naming conventions uh, file naming convention now next is what are the various devices that is used that example uh, that includes a portable online archives screen proofing and the printing that is the devices that is used for the digital images then file formats what are the various file format that include the file naming conventions that includes the file management applications image size compression that includes the looseless and the loosey compression ISDN then uh, next one is a processing fundamentals that is how we can going to process the fundamental how we are going to process the concepts that is a processing fundamental that includes the file format backup import export uh, what are the various image size resolutions that is available with the resolution uh, part then uh, canvas size resolution and output image modes example includes the RGB CMYK indexed color what are the various index color that is used then uh, grayscale and the due tone the next one is a transmission what is the main transmission that includes a downstream object or downstream stream that includes of FTP file transfer protocol
next one is be able to manipulate so one is the creation is done for the digital image next one is processing for the digital image next one is manipulation for the digital image to meet the requirements to meet the uh, gathering so what are the various tools what are the various techniques and the palettes then software tool that includes a text that includes the exposure that includes a cropping adjusting painting duplicating that includes the levels curves color balance yeah hue saturations layers history path what are the various path why we are using the path what are the various mask what are the various channel what are the various filter that is used to filter the digital images to meet the requirements these are the various ways by which we can manipulate the digital image so one is the creation of the digital image one one is the processing the next one is the manipulation of the digital image The next one is understand the use of the digital images. What are the various usage of the digital image? Then that one is a own work. That means uh, evaluate, constraint or brief, originality, asterisks, context, meaning, emphasis. Then other works is also the commercial work that includes the design, sources, asterisk, content, meaning and so on. Now these are the various uh, assessment criteria for the passing of the LA1, LA2, LA3, LA4. So first one is be able to create the digital images for the specific purposes. That is how we are going to create the digital images. So in this the first one is identify the sources for the digital image. What are the various sources that is available for the digital image? That is the first part of the digital image. That is first part in creating the digital image. First one is uh, identify what are the various sources of digital image. Then uh, next one is creating the digital image from the sources for a specific purpose. That means what is the main specific purpose by which we can get the specific, uh, what are the various specific sources by which we can get the digital images. Then identify the file formats and the fundamentals required to process the image data. What are the various file formats, what are the various fundamental data that is required to process the file format or image data. Then uh, apply the digital data management techniques that is used to store the imagery. That means what are the various file management techniques, what are the various data management techniques that is used to uh, store the imagery that applies the digital data manipulations. Then uh, in manipulation there are two terms, there are two tasks that is assigned. One is use the software tools to manipulate the images, then prepare the image files for output. That is what are the various image files that is available for the output. Then in, in, in the use of the digital images, there is a evaluate the own use of the digital images in meeting the requirement. What are the various images that is used for the meeting the requirement? Then evaluate the other use of the digital images in meeting specific purposes. That means what are the various specific purposes that is used for the specified purpose that is used for the digital images. So let's start with this uh, new module. Let's start with the module of this one. Now this is the module. This is the book ebook that is the digital image creation or processing. And this is written by the Rafael C. Donanino and uh, Richard E. Woods. This is the Pearson book. Now let's see what are the various content of this book. Now this is the content, first one is the introduction. Introduction says first one what is the digital image processing. So first one is the, the image that is introduction to the image, image processing or digital processing. Then origins of the digital image processing that means how the yeah, various images are origins. That means how, how they are developed that is origins of the digital image processing. Then the examples of the fields that use the digital image processing. What are the various examples? What are the various criteria by which the digital image will be formed? That includes the gamma ray imaging, X-ray imaging, imaging in the ultraviolet band, visible in the infrared bands, images in the microwave band, radio band, examples in which other imaging modality are used. 
Now, yeah, after the example, there is a fundamental steps in the digital image processing. What are the various fundamental steps that is used in the digital image processing? What are the various components of an uh, image processing system? That means what are the various drawbacks? What are the various forms by which we can, or what are the various we can see the steps? What are the various parts of an image processing systems? At the end of the chapter, that is chapter number one, there is a summary also, references for the readings. Then second chapter is digital image fundamental. That means what are the various fundamental of the digital image, what are the various ways by which we can use the digital image, that is the digital image fundamental. That includes the element of the visual perception, light and the electromagnetic spectrum. What are the various sensing that is used? Then the intensity transformation and the spatial filtering. That means how to use the, what is the background of the intensity transformations. What are the basic intensity transformation function that is covered up? That is includes the uh, image negatives, log transformations, gamma transformation, histogram processing, fundamental or spatial filtering, smoothening spatial filters, sharpening spatial filters. Then how to filter or what is the filtering or how to do the filtering in the frequency domain that is the next topic that is the filtering in the frequency domain that includes the background preliminary concepts then sampling what are the various Fourier transforms of the sample functions what are the various uh, DFT that is a discrete Fourier transform of one variable two variable that is used then extension to the function of two variables. What are the various function of the two variables? Then basics of the filtering in the frequency domain. MS smoothing, MS sharpening, selective filtering, implementation. So these are the various topics of the image creation sampling. Then next one is the image restoration and the reconstruction. how we can restore the image, how we can reconstruct the image. That is the image re restoration and the reconstruction. That includes the models of the image degradation, restoration process, noise models. That includes the spatial and the frequency properties of the noise. Then uh, what are the various linear position and the invariant degradation that is covered up, that is used in the, uh, that is used in covering up the module that is covered up for the various filtrations. Then color image processing that includes the color fundamental that includes the RGB that is a red, green, blue. And the CMY that is a crayon, magenta and yellow. And then what are the various HSI color models and what is the pseudo color image processing that includes the intensity slicing, intensity to color transformation, basics of the full color image processing, color transformation that includes the formulation, color uh, complements, smoothing and the sharpening image segmentation that is based on the color the noise in the color imaging then wavelets and the multi multi resolution processing backgrounds wavelet transformation image compression that includes the fundamental of the image that includes the coding redundancy spatial and the temporal redundancy irrelevant information then some basic compression method. What are the various basic compression method? That includes Huffman coating. That includes the Golomb coating, arithmetic coating, L LJW coating. Then morphological image processing. That includes the erosion and the dilations, opening and the closing of the transformation. Some basic Morphe algorithms. Then image segmentation. What are the various image segmentation, representation, and the description? Object recognition. Let's start with the first one that is an introduction that says one picture is worth more than the 10,000 words. That means one picture is more better than the or more say about than the 10,000 words. That means what is the preview of this one? So interest in the digital image processing method stems from two principal applications areas. That means improvement of the pictorial presentation for the human interpretation and the processing of the image data for the storage, transmission, representation for autonomous machine perception. That means how to image the data, how to process the data for the storage, for the transmission and the representation for the autonomous machine perception. And this chapter has several objectives. What is the main objective? First one is to define the scope of the field that we call image processing. So what is the main scope of the field? Then to give a historical perspective of the origins of this field, to give an idea of the state of the art 
in, in the image processing by examining some of the principal approaches that is used in the digital image processing. Then to give an overview of the components contained in a typical general purpose image processing system that provides a direction to the books and other literature where the image processing work normally is reported. Now, first question is what is the digital image processing? How we can process or, uh, or what, is the, what is the meaning of digital image? Then an image may be defined as a two-dimensional function that is f, x and y where the x and the y are the spatial that is the plane coordinate and the amplitude of the f at uh, any pair of the coordinate that is the x, y is known as the intensity of the gray level of the image at that point. That means what are the various intensity, what is the gray level of the image at that point that is denoted by the coordinate x, y. And when the x and the y and the intensity value of the f are infinite or finite, then the discrete quantities we call the image as a digital image. So when, whenever there is a finite quantity, whenever there is an x and the y term that is used, whenever there is an x value, y value that is, that is recover up, that is used, whenever there is an intensity of the f, that are all finite, it's read quantities, we call the image as a digital image. And the field of the digital image processing refers to the processing digital images by means of a digital computer and that is composed of a finite number of elements, each of which has a particular location and the value. And now, what are the various elements that is included up that are the picture elements and then there is the image elements, pets or the pels and the pixels. Now. What is the most commonly used term that is known as a pixel? That is the most commonly or widely term used to denote the elements of the digital image. So if I'm talking about the pixel, so this is one of the main, we can say the source or term that is used to denote the elements of a digital image that is known as the pixel. Now, next is the gamma ray managing or what are the various ways by which we can, what are the various examples by which we can use the digital image processing that is example that is used up or that is covered up for the fields that includes the digital image processing in the data that includes the visual x-ray and so on for the electromagnetic spectrum that is arranged according to the energy per spectrum. And the energy uh, 